Okay, so what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to show you how to set up an AdWords account correctly in just a few minutes. So to start with, I've started at adwords.google.com or you can just go to Google and type in AdWords and you can see that the top link here, adwords.google.com, if I was to click that, then it will take me into ready to set up an AdWords account. Now yours might look a little bit more similar to this one. Okay, so I just clicked on the learn more button and now what we want to do is we want to get started with setting up an AdWords account. Now you'll be faced with two options. You either have an email address and password that you already use for something like Gmail or you do not use these other services. Now I'm going to presume you do already have a Gmail account set up so I suggest that you go to gmail.com and go and set up a Google Mail account first before you go any further into this. Most people do, I tend to find, have Google accounts already set up because they've been buying things online, etc. So um, I am going to presume for the purposes of this exercise you've already got one set up. So I'm going to put a tick in the box that says I have an email address and password I already use. And I'm going to tick the box that says I'd like to use my existing Google account for AdWords. Now I've set this one up for this purpose. Okay, so you would enter your username and password. Okay, and you will then be taken into an option that looks like this. So you would set your relevant time zone. So mine's United Kingdom and we have daylight saving, so I've selected GMT London. I'm happy to accept billing in pound sterling. You choose whichever is most relevant for you and I'm then going to click continue. Okay, so it's warning us here the ads won't run until you submit your billing information. So what it means is nothing's going to go live, you're not going to start owing Google any money until you enter credit card or debit card um, or direct debit details. So the next thing I'm going to do is click sign into your AdWords account. Okay, and then this will take me into AdWords for the first time. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to create our first campaign. And our first campaign, I'm just going to call for the purposes of today, first campaign. And you can always go back and change it later. Okay, because I'm going to show you today how to focus on the most relevant things for you. Now, the most important thing to do here is to immediately change this from search and display networks very importantly change this to search network only and then click on OK. Okay. Now unfortunately what's happened here is the name of the campaign has now been erased so I'm just going to need to go back and put that back in. Now just to fully explain to you what type here meant, display network only meant it would have ended up on lots of irrelevant blogs and forums anywhere that had Google advertising installed on it. We want ours only on google.com or google.co.uk or the relevant search engine. That's why I selected search network only. I'm going to scroll down. I want you to select the most relevant geographical area for you. Now it could be United Kingdom. It could be, for example, if I wanted to bid only to people that lived in Bristol, then I would put a tick in this box that said, let me choose, then go to advanced search. Okay, I'm now going to click the box that says radius targeting. I'm going to enter Bristol. And let's say that I was an electrician that was willing to go 30 miles around Bristol you can see I've changed that 30 miles, you could have it in kilometres as well. Click on search. Now that's not selected until I click on the add button here, at which point it goes blue. And I would then click done from the bottom left hand corner. You can see it's now going to show 30 miles around that area. Okay, so next option I want you to go down to is I'll manually set my bids for clicks. What we're doing is we're turning off all of Google's automatic options because there for making Google money at the end of the day, not yourself. You'll get far better results taking control of this yourself. Now default bid. For the purposes of this test I suggest that you enter just a bid of a few pence or 50 pence or whatever you're comfortable with entering. And then the daily budget 
that's where you would then enter how much you're willing to spend per day. So for a test campaign, probably just a couple of pounds or a couple of dollars per day. And that then means we will have a maximum of up to six clicks because each click will cost up to 50 pence. On a three pound budget, we'll get up to six clicks per day. And we're then going to save and continue. So we're not doing anything else there. Now, what I want you to consider now is that this first group that we're going to be creating today is going to be just for one of your services or one of your products. So I'm going to go back to the um, the Bristol example. And what I'm going to do is imagine that I'm setting up an ad group for a locksmith in Bristol. So this ad group I'm going to call locksmith Bristol, you would enter whatever the first product or service is that you want to enter. Now down to the advert. Now the things, the keyword that we're going to be bidding on in this ad group is going to be just locksmith Bristol. Now best practice is that you want the keywords to appear in bold in the heading because Google finds the keywords in your advert. So what we're going to do here is we're going to enter Locksmith Bristol into the heading and then if somebody was to search for Locksmith Bristol that heading then appears in bold and it means that we'll be the one that gets the click. Now for the rest of the advert I just want you to write an advert that explains your services. You might want to go back and do some competitor research as well and best practice is to write in title case where you capitalize the first letter of every word and it's also a good idea to try asking a question so look what I do here so looking for a locksmith okay so see how I've done that in title case capitalizing the first letter of each word okay so then I'm going to put a call to action so call now for let's cap to make sure I've capitalized that F in fast, call now for fast response, exclamation mark. Okay, so I can have one exclamation mark in the description, line two there. Then the display URL, that's the home page of our site. Okay, so kjlocksmith.co.uk, you would enter whatever the home page is for your site. Then the destination URL is the page that people go to where they will find that product listed. So for most of you who are just beginning, that probably will be the home page. But if it's a different page at this point, you go and copy and paste the relevant page on the website into the destination URL. Right, now down to keywords. We're just writing this group just about one keyword, which was Locksmiths Bristol. Sorry, Locksmith Bristol, so the singular. Notice it doesn't matter if I've capitalized anything in here. Okay, so all small cases fine, capitals don't affect keywords in AdWords. So Locksmith Bristol, and you can see that match the name of the ad group and also the heading. Okay, it's brought across the 50 pence from earlier. So 50 pence per click, that's what we're willing to pay. And from this point, what we would now do is we could either save and continue to billing and enter the credit card details straight away or we could click on set up billing later okay so that's our first ad group has gone live so over here on the left we have our campaign name which was first campaign and then ad group which was locksmith bristol okay now i'm going to just show you quickly how to set up a second group for a different keyword so if we go back now, so you can use these breadcrumbs here. These are called breadcrumbs and it just means that they're split links you can click on. If I click on the one that says first campaign, it's taken me back into ad groups. If I now click here where it says new ad group, I'm going to set up a second one, which might be for locksmith bath, for example. Okay. Now it's brought across the advert from before. So what I'm going to do is locksmith bath. I'm going to sneakily copy and paste that into the heading. Okay. Cause this is about slightly different keys, keywords. This is about locksmith bath instead. So for the headline, I've got locksmith bath. Okay. So the only thing I need to change on there, I don't want to change anything of the rest of the advert is I want locksmith bath to be the keywords in here. Okay, then default bid wants to know what I'm willing to pay. It hasn't brought across the 50 pence this time. 
So I've typed in 50 pence and I'm then going to click on set up billing later once again. Okay, so you can see now I have my two ad groups in there. Okay, so the ads will not go live yet until I was to set up the billing, which I can do at any point just by simply going into billing. Very simple and easy. Um, but from this point, your ad groups are now set up correctly and you should start to see some results coming in from your AdWords campaign. Now what might happen is you get advised by Google that the bid price of 50 pence isn't high enough. Let me just go and show you how to change that. I'm going to go back to first campaign, so I clicked on that link there. If I wanted to change that from 50 pence, I just click here where it says default max CPC, that's cost per click, how much I'm willing to pay. And it takes me straight into a little edit screen, so I could change that to two pounds for example okay so I'll do the same here with locksmith bath I might change that one to three pounds okay so that's how to edit things okay so that was a very quick introduction to how to set up an AdWords account for success and if you want to learn more about how to set up an AdWords account from start to finish then I have a product that I have designed which is just for people like you and the products called redhotwebleads.com and it is an instant access program that if you go to redhotwebleads.com you can have a read through of all of the different items that it includes it's got over 34 videos at the last count that take you through from start to finish how to set up an AdWords account so that it's delivering non-stop leads, how to track conversions and lots of other things that you need to know about to set up an AdWords account successfully. So that's how to set up an AdWords account in just a few minutes.